What does it mean when more than 250 designers have presented their fall collections over nine days, at the same time that many retailers are struggling to keep their doors open? It's a delicate subject, to be sure, but one that was constantly in the air at New York Fashion Week for fall 2009. So what do designers think women should be wearing this fall? Designers have kind of gone in two separate directions. Some have looked to investment dressing, which is a good thing in this economy, um, with beautifully made clothes and classic silhouettes. And then other people have the philosophy that you better give them something they don't already have hanging in their closet. Probably see a little more black than we prefer. Uh, I think our customers want emotional clothes right now at a time like this. Something that gets them excited, something they don't have. We saw a lot of 80s influences. Uh, saw a little bit of what I thought was a bit of Isa Laura Mars, Faye Dunaway today, a bit at Coors. The other thing that I'm feeling, especially after today, is fur. A lot of little fur vests. Again, it's done a little road warrior. They're a little tougher, a little more fun. It seemed that color was a major story this season, even in collections where it was totally absent. It was nice returning to black, I have to say. You know, there's there's always this love of black that will never leave. So it's great to just do a full-on collection just in black, with purple, though. And there's been a lot of color elsewhere in the, on the runways, and this certainly didn't have it. Do you feel that it's not the, the right time for bright colors? I didn't feel bright colors. You know, I just, to me, I just, maybe it's the mood of everything that's happening now, you know? I was feeling very dark. On the other hand, this might be just the moment for escapism. Fairy tale. I thought it would be nice right now. <laughs> well, which fairy tales were you looking at? I think we looked, uh, we looked at pretty much everything. We watched The Wizard of Oz, yes. and um, it was fun. It was a really fun process. It's about a little bit of escapism as well, I think, a little bit of fantasy, you know? A woman dressing up and feeling great and forgetting her woes, so... Yeah. I think that's important. Fashion Week, in effect, is just a more glamorous version of a trade show. But this season, you could see a scaling back of extravagance, not just in the clothes, but also in the amount of money that was spent on the shows. Tell me a little bit about why you're having your show here uh, in a bar instead of the, the tents. Oh, it's a lounge. <laughs> it's not a bar. <laughs> it's a watering hole. Okay. Now, actually, what I wanted to do this season in light of the economy, I wanted something that was a little bit more humble, a little bit less in your face, as the tents can sometimes be construed to be. And so we did a faux show, which meant we used three girls, we taped it on a Saturday, we did live installation, and we do have two models to put on dresses if anybody wants to see something different on. And I thought it was maybe to take fashion back a step to make it more personable and make it more about the clothing and the designer as opposed to the spectacle. In the old days when Couture first started, it was always in the salon, always in the in Paris, it's always showed in, in, in the house, in the maison. Uh, in New York, Molly Parnas, all of the big names, Norel, always had their fashion shows in their showroom, intimate 100 to 200 people. Over the past probably two decades, it turned into the spectacle. And maybe it's time for it to take a step back. Still, it's American fashion's biggest press event of the year, so many designers came prepared with talking points about how they are coping with an environment where many customers have all but closed their wallets to luxury goods. Is the thrill of Fashion Week still here? I think it's, it's more thoughtful, you know. I think that there always has to be a renewal process, and I believe instead of seeing it from a pessimistic point of view, I see this as a renewal process, you know, and I think that every creative person is going to really think about what it really means to produce something that someone wants, you know, and I think this is the time now that you have to reevaluate that. Do you find it weird at all to be having, you know, Fashion Week in the middle of this? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, you have to wonder, is it the Emperor's New Clothes? Are we going through this and there, none of these clothes will ever appear in stores? But I, they will appear. It'll just, I think, buyers are just going to have to edit. And, like, Everybody's just going to have to be more edited. The, the, the days of disposable um, recreational shopping are temporarily over.